Hi everyone, this is a video of my new LPC815 red laser diode that has been harvested from a 20 speed LG DVD burner. This is one of the, the best uh, red laser diodes on the market today and one of the best diodes to use for for this application for building a red high powered laser pointer. The reason for that is the LPC 815 diode is an open can diode um, and that makes it a lot more powerful than a closed can diode plus because it's from a 20 speed DVD burner it's it's very powerful so I'm going to show you what I've done to host it in this project box if I can get it to open okay okay and here's my setup here are three CR123A batteries putting out a total of 9 volts I've connected that to a simple sliding on off switch and it's powered by the micro drive laser diode driver this is the uh, micro drive V3 laser diode driver um, some of you would recognize this setup it looks exactly the same as my previous PHR dash 803T uh, burning laser diode from from an Xbox 360 D HD DVD drive and the reason for that is that that diode um, ha has been damaged I'm not sure what cause it could be static electricity or something like that but that diode is no longer usable so I swapped that out for this LPC815 laser diode I've configured the, the driver to put out a total of 386 milliamps. Most people run this diode at um, somewhere between 410 to 420 milliamps for, for best results but I, I wanted to turn the power down a little bit just to preserve the diode's life and I found this diode very powerful anyway so there's no need to drive it at more than 400 milliamps from from basic calculation theoretically this setup would work with two batteries because um, six volts would be sufficient but I, I had problems getting to run with uh, six volts earlier with my other other two batteries so I, I've decided to stick with uh, three batteries instead um, this is a very powerful diode so it's very important to um, to to take basic safety precautions always wear protective goggles safe, uh, protective as uh, safety laser goggles and always um, it's always a good idea to keep a cap on like this to um, to protect against you know accidentally hitting the switch on and hitting yourself in the eye with the laser when you're not expecting it to to come on so um this is a uh, very good very good protection device as well and the other difference in this this setup as compared with my my previous one is that I've, i'm using a glass lens in this setup this glass lens has been coated to um, to optimize its um, it, its performance uh, to optimize um, its compatibility with the red laser diode so with this glass lens um, the the beam comes out a lot clearer it's a lot easier to focus it's a lot more distinct and sharper and most importantly it allows more of the laser power out as compared to the standard acrylic lens and and that this this glass lens does provide um, quite a significant increase in power output
So I'm going to go ahead and turn the laser on. As you can see this cat protects it. And this is um may not be very visible in this uh, video but it's actually very very powerful. As you can see the plastics already melting there and smoking. And I tried an experiment um, using this to punch a hole through a black CD case and I was able to do it up to three meters away and from one end of my room to the other so it is very very powerful and if I focus the the, the beam to infinity um, I can shine it at just about anything I can see in the distance and still see a distinct red dot. I haven't really tried it with a very very long distances but um, but from what I've, I've um I've tried so far it is it is um more than powerful enough to to um hit any object in in the distance and also when you turn this on at night um in the outdoors you will immediately see a red red beam project up to the sky and it's very obvious you don't have to look hard to spot the beam it's it's very distinct and everyone um around you will be able to see the beam it, it, it is very uh, very distinct so um thanks for watching and um hope you like this this new laser thank you